Good morning, Roland. This is Joanne. She's your new physiotherapist. Can he hear us? No. What's his awareness level? Zero. And it's a permanent state. He's gone for good. Is he one of the... That whole Bureau of Weapons disaster. Three of them survived. One like this. But you didn't hear that from me. It's classified. Barbie. Roland Blatty. He was the Bureau Chief. Good flexibility. Standard regime of care. Every joint to be rotated through. What's that? Don't get excited. If it happens, just press reset. I've asked them to fix it. Every joint to be rotated through its full range of movement five times every day. Nurse will change his fluids in his pads. Sign the chart when you're done. Bit of resistance there, Roland. Got some old capsule trouble? Well, Jan's been trying to raise you. Oh, well, the phone must have got knocked off the hook. And Beckett's not at the house, babe. What's been going on? Um, Ed, uh, help yourself to coffee. I'll see you in a minute. Hello, Ed. So, uh, the old phone. Left off the hook, eh? Apparently so. Excellent. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, you don't have to say a thing. Hey, look, I got kicked off the boat, all right? And I'm just staying here in the spare room until I can get things sorted out, okay? That's the truth. Yep. I believe you. Roz, is Ed there? He's just arrived. Beckett's here too. I've had some news about Roland Blatty. Good or bad? Wait till you hear. He's injured some people and gone on the run. I don't call that good. Guys? He didn't speak. There was nothing in his eyes. It was the most horrible thing I've ever seen. Did he seem confused? Not at all. It was like you woke up with a job to do. We've got to find him, and we've got to check on the others. Why? 
Well, the other two ex-Bureau basket cases have been hanging around the Twilight Zone. I mean, what if they suddenly sprung into action as well? Beckett, please. Oh, come on, Ros, they were put there by the same thing. All right. What was that? Look, um, I noticed some of the patients downstairs were wearing wristbands. There's some kind of tagging device. There's a chip in each one. We can track people if they wander around the building. But his wouldn't be activated. Why not? Well, he wasn't going anywhere, was he? Right, well, if we can activate it, we can maybe get a fix on it. Yeah, except that they're local and they're low-powered. Ros, it's a start, isn't it? people feel about us hijacking their network. Well, I won't tell them if you won't tell them. It's going to set off every mobile in town. Yep. Along with a tracker chip in Roland's hospital tag. Well, we hope. So, uh, how long's Beckett staying with you, then? Well, as long as he needs to. I tell you, at least I finally found something he'll let me do for him. <laughs> Ed. I didn't say a thing. Yeah, well, you didn't have to. Look, we are just friends and he's my guest. That's all there is to it. Your entire problem in a nutshell. Ronan Blatty. Bureau of Weapons. I need to see some files. Beckett, where are you now? I'm at the Bureau. Have you got a fix on Roland yet? Yeah, I'm just doing it. I've got Roland. Close to the Central Record Archive. That's a positive identification, Mr. Blatty. Hold it there one moment, please. Excuse me. Listen, just be careful how you approach him. Oh, please. Come on, this is Roland we're talking about. Look, you saw what he did to that kid at the Medical Institute. This is not the Roland we used to know. Cyberx. Oh. I want to see all the files on Cyberx. So what about this thumbprint, then? Blatty's thumbprint checked out. And that's one machine I've never seen make a mistake. Then his print must still be in the active records. Chief of the Bureau of Weapons had access to every secure facility there is. They never expected him to use it again, I guess. So what exactly has he taken? The minutes of the Fullwood Committee, a secret group set up to investigate something called Cyberax. Cyberax? You know what it is? Uh, yes. It was a mega-sized artificial intelligence that went very, very wrong. It's the thing that put Roland Blatty on ice in the first place. Look, do you think I could have a look at the backup copies of those minutes? There isn't any backup. What? The file consists of one handwritten document with no <laughs> other copies, no faxing, no scanning, and definitely no electronic storage of any kind. Terrific, to make it hacker-proof. In this day and age, it's the only 100% guaranteed way. I had the place sealed when I came round. If he's still in here, we'll find him. And if he's not? Roz. The stable door and the horse is bolted. Oh my God, it's true, he's conscious. He's got the file. Roland! Is 
that the records for the other two Cybrex patients? Oh, my God. What's the matter? I know them. Samantha showed me around when I first joined the Bureau. Jenna was in the computer section. I thought they died with the others. Where are they now? Uh, two different medical units, one either side of town. OK, you take Jenna. I'm going to take Sam. Right. Beckett, but I'm too late. I've got another bureau survivor who's just upped and walked. She trashed the personnel, didn't stop to explain her reasons, exactly the same as Roland Blatty. I'm with Samantha now. There's no change at all. Well, I'm sorry, Doctor, I can't really tell you what to look for. The unusual so far. I think you need some time away from your work. She's not a piece of your high technology. Unfortunately, Doctor, that's exactly what she is. My computer at home has got a pop-up program. Once a year, that program takes over the screen to wish me a happy birthday. Something like that inside her head. It's impossible. Happy birthday. Have you heard? Beckett's living with Ros now. How did you know that? You want to read the email. It's all over the department. Beckett. You all right? Yeah. Okay, everybody, we haven't much time. Three former members of the Bureau of Weapons have effectively risen from the dead and gone on the run. Why are we treating coma patients like escaped convicts? Because of what they may have been programmed to do. Programmed? Does the name Cybrax mean anything to you? It was the one code red file I could never sneak a look at. Cybrax was an artificial intelligence created for the military. It was designed to grow and survive. But of course, no one looked at the long-term consequences of those two simple instructions, and it grew like a monster. So, it used up all the technology available. And then, believe it or not, went organic. What do you mean? The next big thing in supercomputing is a protein or DNA-based processor. Now, Cybrax actually pushed that one stage further and managed to get into the human brain. Most of the experimental subjects died when we shut Cybrax down. The three that didn't. The three that didn't. They're the ones that have woken up. And I think of them as infected by the first computer virus to jump the species barrier. I've looked into Roland's eyes. Whatever's driving him, that is not the man I knew. What is the purpose of all this? A wild guess. Somehow, Cybrax is going to get itself rebooted. A comeback. Elvis has not yet left the building. <laughs> advisor to the Forward Committee. Their job was to decide how to dispose of the Cyberax problem. Easy. You wipe out every trace of it. This was new territory, Ed. A completely new type of organism. I don't believe this. You wipe it out anyway. 
Our entire global technology came this far from being host to a seriously destructive parasite, remember? When you have cornered a dangerous virus, you don't just destroy it. You disable it and then you store it. Why? Because it's your blueprint to fight the next one. Whoa, whoa, hang on a minute. What do you mean by disable? Come with me. They split the program onto four discs. This is the second of them. They went to four separate locations. I guess each location is listed on the minutes of the forward committee. Uh, three of them are. The fourth one's in the personal care of Lord Forward. <laughs> Great. Don't you just love modern science? On the front of the T-shirt it says, don't worry, we got it covered. On the back of the T-shirt it says, oops. Does this mean that Roland and the others have a good chance of putting all four pieces back together and recreating the program? If we don't stop them first. The others had wrist tags on as well. Let's get tracking. Four discs. Four different locations. We will go after one disc each. Whoever survives goes after Lord Fullwood and the fourth. And then what? We put the completed code out onto the internet as one single free-floating intelligence. It'll grow like a child in the digital ocean, a creature without a body, the ghost in the machine and every machine it enters it controls. Cyberax reborn. Any questions? What will happen to us afterwards? There is no afterwards. signal from one of them, but nothing's moving. Let's check out the building anyway. All righty then. Let's take a look around. They were definitely here. All three of them. Make it stop. They burnt the fire. Beckett said they were here, they're obviously gone. Mm. Is that a new jacket? Yeah, as a matter of fact. I thought I might uh, change the image a bit. What do you think? To start. Thank you very much. So what do you reckon about Beckett and Ros, then? Are they or aren't they? Oh, I don't know, Alex. He says they're not. Bet they are. You can't be too sure. You didn't see him mooning around the office when he thought she was going off with Channing. Mooning? Yeah. Mooning. What? <laughs> you and I obviously have a different understanding of what mooning is. <laughs> <laughs> they burned the fire after they read it. So they know where the discs are and we don't. Roz is lifting an image off the ashes. Get that. Now, can that lady do magic or what? Disc number two is at the bureau. 
Disc number four is at Lord Fullwood's. You take disc number one. Locations coming through now. No, Mr. Beckett, I am not worried, and I certainly don't intend to alter my security arrangements for someone outside the chain of command. Check my credentials, Commander. This comes right from the very top. Bloody civil servants. Bane of my life. Nothing personal. I'm now going to demonstrate this system to this civilian gentleman. Stand by your posts. Now, look. The walls of this building are two and a half feet thick. There are guards outside at all times. Watch this. Then there are the outer defences. Three layers of electrified fence, razor wire, ground sensors, electronic eyes. You couldn't get a mouse through there without me knowing about it. Sir? Do you get many dinosaurs in Suffolk? We're even earthquake-proof. I'm telling you, no one is going to sneak in here without being seen. Jan, what did Lord Fullwood do with disc number four? I don't know. Here is the letter he sent to the committee. I've chosen a place where I can keep a permanent watch over it. The expression to hide something in plain sight has never been more appropriate. Terrific. I tried that trick too. It didn't work. So, did you actually speak to him? No, I didn't. Damn voicemail everywhere you turn. Ros. What? The number two disc in the bureau vault. These people are ex-bureau. If anyone can get in here, they can. Is it safe? It is now. seen how strong she is. Jenna, listen to me. I know this isn't you. I know you're being driven by something. We shut Cyberax down, but left inside you was a buried instruction to resurrect it. You're trying to get hold of all four discs, aren't you? Am I right? If you'll just stop and listen to me, I can see about getting you out of here.
Do you know who I am? Ross Henderson. Do you know who you are? We are the children of Cybrax. We have to destroy one of the discs. I'm not even going to discuss it. It doesn't matter which, we just have to destroy one of them. Jan. I'd, I'd like, like to come, come out now. Jan, please. We made a decision to preserve the material. It wasn't taken lightly. You, you didn't have this situation then. Look. Cybrex holds the key to the future of artificial intelligence technology. I can't throw that away. You don't get it, do you? We are talking about the global corruption of technology itself. One by one, systems will come under the control of Cybrex, and then it will start to turn on us. Planes will fall out of the sky. Hospitals will go dark. There'll be robots in factories building weapons we never designed for a war we can't prevent. A war between artificial machines and the human race. Jan, that is a war we can't possibly win. These discs are tough. I'll get us a blowtorch. Is anyone there? Down the middle. No. It's a photopolymer disc for holographic storage. You can still get information out of the pieces. Stand back. Disc in here. Government data backup center. Yeah, but I know this place. It's a contract outfit. Data security by the lowest bidder. They're all idiots. Your people wanted extra security. It should have been written into the budget. We appreciate that. Will you let us take the disc off your hands? No chance. Why not? Nobody cuts into my business. You're being targeted right now. All our stored data has a value to someone. We keep it well protected, don't you worry. I haven't seen a lock or a guard yet. No one's even been checking ID. We're a tight-knit team. Everyone knows everybody. Any strange face will stick out. We'd be on them like dogs. OK, so what would it take to get the disc away from here, Anna? I'm not trying to cut into your business. I'm just asking you a practical question. For all I know, this could be a test. I'm saying nothing. She was so sure she's got everything covered. One word springs to mind. Oops. Thanks. 
Excuse me. This is a restricted storage area. You can't come in here. Can you go in there? Well, of course I can. How's it looking, Ed? This place is wide open to anyone with a clean shirt and a clipboard. I reckon our best bet is to steal the disc before someone else does. Well, what's the plan? Alex thinks we can probably just walk in and help ourselves. But by my reckoning, we need to create a diversion. Something to take people's attention. Matt, come on. Gotta go. Well, I'm on my way over. Leave the building. We have to leave the building. Cyberx, ready to send. Transmit in five. Hey, Sam! Stay back! Come on, Sam, just, just give us the disc. You're not going to leave the building with it. She doesn't need to. She's sending me information down the line. Cut the link, kill the power, I'll keep her busy. Alex. Good morning. Enough. Oh, you mean I feel like this for nothing? Can you feel your legs? Uh -huh. Move your feet for me. <clears throat> oh, Alex, you could have used the door. Squeeze my hand. A trick, I knew it. I'm all right. Help me up. Well done, Sam. Satisfied? Huh? How about it, Sammy? Hey, Sam? Data transmission complete. Exit program. exception of the joker who set the false alarm. Where are my people? Your people aren't my problem. Wonder short. I know that's where you come in. Yep. It's Roland Blatty. For Beckett's sake, move to a place where no one can hear us. Why are you? Don't argue. I've got him right here. Communications, there's a radio in use on this floor. I want a fast scan and intercept on the signal and patch it into this line. If you really have got him there, why don't you prove it to me? You're no match for Beckett, Roland. You never were. That might have been of interest to me once, Ross. But not anymore. Stand by. Go on, then. Say something for the lady.
No! Beckett! I'll give you two hours to find the fourth disc. Then I'll trade Beckett for it. I know it's been hidden, but I'm sure you can find it. Jan will never let me do that. Then don't tell her. You can obey orders, or you can save Beckett. The fourth disc for Beckett's life. You've got two hours. Yes? As soon as my father knew he was ill, he broke all links with public life. He said if he was going to die, he wanted to do it in peace and in private. This is the only clue I've got, really. Would you have a look at the date on it? Now, would he have known he was ill when he wrote it? I think so. Yes. Now, he says he put the disc in plain sight where he could keep a permanent watch over it. Do you have any idea what that might mean? They offered him a place in the cathedral, but he insisted on being buried here. What are you doing? Don't do this. Don't do what? Roland, that's a combat field computer. As soon as you put in the last disk, you'll upload the CyberX program to the Defense Satellite Network. Instant global infection, Roland. Are you trying to make me feel guilty? I'm trying to make you think. Hidden in plain sight. Well hidden, Lord Forward. Get me the 
disc. No. Give me the disc. said no, Jack. It's what we agreed. Yeah, well, all of that went out of the window when Roland took Beckett. Nothing has changed. It has for me. You give Roland that disc, and as you said yourself, it'll be the end of everything. I don't care. You think Beckett would thank you for that? Tell me I'm wrong, Roz. Tell me I'm missing something here. Roz? You're almost out of time. I don't want to lose him. I'm waiting. I'm counting. Counting on you as it happens, Roz. It's OK, Beckett. I'm going to give him what he wants. Ross, no. Here you go, Roland. Now, Jan! Ah! Wow, oh, that hurts. You're such a loose. You shot Roland. What was he or you? I don't want to lose him. So you heard that then? Echoes in here. I think we better get the disc. It's all right, I'll see you to it. Poor Ben. Stop there. If either of you move, I'll shoot the other one. You put your own lives on the line without even thinking about it. I'm sorry, Beckett. Please don't do this. He's going direct to satellite. We've got no chance of stopping him now. There must be something of the old Roland left inside. I'm sorry, I can't find it. It's what I'm programmed for. And now it's almost over. <laughs> I can't get a signal through. There's too much lead on the roof. Don't move. Kill you if you move. I'm fine. Well, we got a result, didn't we? <laughs> Did you, um... mean what you said in there? What? About me? Of course I did. There is something that I suppose I should tell you. I already know it. 
Oh, Beckett, you can be so dim. <laughs> You'd have kept me in the dark forever, wouldn't you? I hoped I wouldn't. expect a pay rise. Two and a half hours in the hairdressers and then you hand me a crash helmet. Oh. They always like this. No. Normally they're worse. Is there some principle involved? Hey, look. She left the door wide open. Great security. Oh, she's expecting us. <laughs> really? On the level, straight up. Is this party just to celebrate us getting our gongs? Well, what else? Well, I thought, you know, maybe, uh... Engagement? <laughs> Rose, we're here. But we're not too early. Rose. 